Hey, I'm Tristan from Hip Cooks and we are in West LA at our cooking school. Today I'm going to show you how to make tilapia. Tilapia is one of those fish that is pretty easy to find these days and it's a good one for loads of different dishes. I personally love it in fish tacos. You can put any type of seasoning on it and make it taste just the way the seasoning does. It's a pretty versatile white fish. Today I'm just going to do a simple season bread and then a pan fry. Um, and the reason I do that is because that's just the base of tilapia. And if you have that, then you can then go forward and serve it with really anything. Any type of sauce, vegetable, etc. So a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just rub it in with your fingers. Give it a little moisture so that the salt and pepper and the breadcrumbs stick. On the other side. Salt and pepper. Rub that around for a little flavor. Okay, so pretty simple process there. Now the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumbs I made today, I just took some pieces of white bread that I had, tore it up into little pieces, toasted it on a cookie sheet for maybe 10 minutes, and then popped it in a Cuisinart so that it's just nice little bread brown or small little crumbs, of course. If you have breadcrumbs from the grocery store, that will work as well. So pat your fish into the breadcrumbs and get a nice coating. Okay, then this fish will sit in the fridge for 20 minutes and that will just ensure that the breadcrumbs stick to the fish and after 20 minutes we will pan fry. Okay, our tilapia has been in the fridge for 20 minutes so we are ready to pan fry. I'm gonna get this on, so it's nice and hot. And I'm using the combination of oil and butter, about one tablespoon, well I'll do a half a tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of oil. Just regular canola oil is fine. Grapeseed oil is fine too. That's one, two. Okay, get those mixed together. Melted. We want our skillet to be hot when the fish goes on. Tilapia can be found frozen or fresh and they really end up tasting the same. So they are kind of a handy fish to have in the freezer. It makes for a quick dinner. Okay, sprinkle off any little bit of excess breadcrumbs. We'll lay that into the pan. We hear a nice little sizzle. All right, so we have the nice sizzle bubble from the butter and the oil around the fish. That's what we want. So we'll wait two minutes and then we'll flip it. Okay, it's been two minutes and we are ready to flip our fish. Perfect. And I'll give that another two minutes and our tilapia will be done. Okay, that was the additional two minutes. Our tilapia is done, so it's ready to take out of the pan and eat for dinner. Got myself a spatula to help this process. You wanna be delicate with cooked fish because it can fall apart. So get the best grip you can. Get onto the plate in one piece. And that's how to cook tilapia, enjoy. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send us an email at requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.